All right, guys, uh, we're uh, we're moving with this uh, scratch maze game. So pretty uh, pretty big deal today. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do some code that's it's gonna be a big step in your coding journey because it's something that we haven't done before. So it's going to be new learning, uh, which is always a good thing. So here's where we are. If you look uh, right here, this is what we're gonna work on today in class. We're gonna add a timer or a scoreboard to the game. We're gonna I'm gonna give you videos to do both of those things. So uh, that's good. And it's not really too much code. Mr. Kizuka's class, you're going to be doing these three things. So we've got obviously fewer things to check off, but big important code to write today. Uh, we're going to introduce new concepts here uh, that are fundamental and huge in, in the coding world in terms of you being able to go uh, cross sprite and uh, and that kind of thing. So pretty, pretty fun stuff, pretty interesting stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Scratch. And you can see I'm already logged in, which is good if you're not. Uh, if you're having trouble logging, and make sure you get in touch with Mr. Kizuka or myself. Uh, we've got your username and password. We'll get you back there. It's been a little while since you've logged in, uh, so that may be something that's, uh, that's important. Once you're logged in, we're going to go to the folder uh, for My Stuff. And once we're in My Stuff, of course, we're going to the Maze Game. We're just going to click that See Inside button to get right into the Maze Game. First thing I'm going to show you today is uh, a scoreboard. And the scoreboard we're going to write is going to be a scoreboard that will basically tally it's going to add one more every time you run into the wall. So obviously the best score to have would be zero. You haven't run into any walls. But every time you touch a wall, it's going to add one point to your score, uh, making your score higher and higher the more you run into the wall. So um, we're going to put this code right here on our player sprite. So I'm going to click on that player sprite to bring his code up. And you can see we've got all this code here, and we're going to add some code to this. If we scroll down. What we're really looking for is this if statement, if touching color then this is where we go back to the start position that's good but in addition when we touch the color we want to add one to our uh, to our scoreboard right uh, so the first thing we have to do is set up our scoreboard though so we're going to go to variables which is that second uh second from the bottom the second um color from the bottom variables and we need to actually make a variable so i'm going to click on make a variable and that new variable name is going to be mistakes now we could make it scoreboard or anything else we wanted to make it as well but i'm going to make it mistakes today you could call it boo-boos it doesn't matter to me again i'm going to make it mistakes i'm going to click ok it's for all sprites that's fine for now it doesn't really matter if i leave it on this sprite or for all sprites for this variable for other variables that might matter but for this one it doesn't we're just going to click ok and now we've got our variable so what do we want to happen well again when we touch that 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 wall color right so when touching wall we want to go back to the start but we also add one to our variable so we do that by change mistakes by one that was pretty simple but we need to think about one other thing and that is what happens in the very beginning well that means we need to set mistakes to zero when we start this game right so when we go to the start screen we need to make sure mistakes goes to zero so that we start with zero mistakes we don't have mistakes from our last game in uh, this so again sets mistakes to zero so that we have zero mistakes in the beginning and then as we run into the wall that mistakes number should change every time we run into the wall again we made a variable and then we made that variable do things within our game let's take a look and see what happens so start here we go we go to that start screen and what happens if i run into the wall look at that three four five okay what if i go up here and i don't run into the wall well you can see nothing happens right Let's see what happens if I go, oh, look, that's, that's a shortcut right now. Oh, I ran into the wall again. We got another one, right? So every time I run into the wall, I'm getting another mistake on my scoreboard, and that's exactly what I wanted. So scoreboard, consider it done. Check that off the list. We're good to go. The next video, we're going to look at making a timer, which is even more exciting. Good job, guys.